Hello guys, uh, Dejan here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's uh, very short video, uh, we will uh, paint a model from the army that we haven't painted before on the channel. And uh, this time it will be uh, Nima Satar for the Toha army. Uh, I will mostly use uh, contrast paints and then I will do uh, traditional highlighting. So without uh, further ado, uh, sit back, relax, uh, grab yourself some uh, cup of a drink and uh, enjoy the video. So I decided to use a lot of contrast paints on this model. I painted it with a red bone spray uh, because it will make uh, my contrast paints uh, bright. First paint uh, that we're gonna use today will be a Griffhound Orange. Uh, so just uh, shake this uh, bottle well, uh, because uh, the paint wants to separate uh, very quickly if it's left just maybe like even for a day. And then uh, take uh, one of your old brushes and uh, I applied this uh, straight from the bottle in uh, one uh, very thick coat. Uh, only thing that I was uh, trying not to do is to go a couple of times over the same uh, texture that I already painted. So just let the paint uh, settle down and uh, move around. Uh, with this uh, color I painted uh, these uh, ammo belts that she have uh, coming out from her jetpack or whatever it is, I'm not sure, and then her armor. Uh, just pay attention here when you're painting these to not go over the areas that uh, you're not supposed to paint uh, because uh, you will have to do a lot of fixing uh, later. So just try to be neat and paint only inside these uh, armor uh, recesses. Uh, for her hair, I will use a hex rate flame, uh, which is not actually a contrast paint. They call this a technical paint and this paint was actually released just maybe a few months before the contrast paints but it behaved the same as the contrast paint so you can use it in the same manner and uh, I use this paint uh, only for her hair. Uh, I apply this in one uh, very very thick coat uh, so that the paint go easily inside the recesses and create the shadows. For the next step, uh, we will use uh, Black Templar Contrast Paint and uh, I will use this to paint uh, her gun and uh, little accessories and the belts that she have around. Uh, I will use this uh, paint uh, straight from the pot and the only thing that I will do is that uh, for her gun I will apply this uh, paint in uh, two uh, very thick coats uh, while on the rest of the parts I will apply only one thick coat. The reason I'm doing that is that I want her gun to be much darker than the rest of her armors and the belts. Now, before we start uh, painting the white armor panels, uh, we will go back to the red bone. Uh, which is our base color and we will do a little clean up. So everywhere on our model when we made uh, little mistakes uh, we will just uh, repaint it uh, with this paint and return it uh, to the base color tone. The reason uh, for doing this is uh, because uh, the next couple of contrast paints that uh, we are going to use are very transparent and if you have any darker color under it, uh, it won't cover it and it will create uh, stains, so it won't look good. Uh, for the face, uh, we will use the Gilliman Flash Contrast and the uh, same as before, I will apply this in one uh, thick coat around her face, uh, but this time I will clean up all the pooling uh, from the eye sockets. Uh, it is okay to have a pooling uh, on the edges of the face because it will create uh, nice shadows, uh, but pull out the excess paint from the eye sockets uh, uh, because uh, we are going to repaint them after. And the last contrast paint that we will use today will be Apothecary White. Uh, so with this paint, uh, we will uh, paint all her white armor panels. Uh, we will use uh, this paint straight from the pot, uh, same as before, and we will apply one thick coat. 
only thing that we need to be very careful here is uh, when applying this paint to apply it only on the white panels. Uh, don't go over the black parts or the orange parts that we already painted uh, because it will create very bad uh, blue st or gray stains from this paint. Uh, so try to be as neat as possible as much as you can. It is not end of the world, if you make some mistakes uh, we can still uh, fix them later, uh, but it will be less work uh, if we manage to be neat here. So this is how the model looks after application of contrast paints. Uh, if you want, uh, you can stop here and you can use this model as it looks now. Uh, but from this stage, we will start uh, highlighting our model and uh, bring it to a next level of uh, details. So first I will start uh, with the orange parts and I will take uh, Averland Sunset and start painting the most raised areas uh, of the previous color. Uh, I will leave all the recesses uh, still intact and in shadows, but I will apply very little of this paint uh, on the flat areas, on the uh, raised areas, and as well on the armor panels uh, that she have on the legs and on her chest. Uh, I will do uh, like a edge highlight, but I will pull a thick line. When it comes to her under armor, uh, you will just use the side of your brush and try to highlight uh, the raised areas. Uh, and, uh, try not to go inside the recesses because you will uh, mask uh, all the shadows that we previously established. And uh, for the final highlight, uh, we will use uh, Flash Gits Yellow and uh, I will use this paint as well to highlight uh, her hair. Uh, so you will highlight the sharpest edges of her hair and the end of the threads. And uh, for all the armor and uh, all these uh, panels that she have, uh, you will use the side of your brush and do very thin edge highlighting. It is very important that you highlight uh, every piece of these uh, yellow armors because it will tie everything together and uh, make it uh, a really uh, good part of this model. Uh, to continue highlighting the model, uh, we will proceed with the face and uh, we will use a Kisler flash. We will only highlight the most raised parts of the face, uh, like uh, forehead, uh, nose, uh, cheeks, uh, top of the lips, and uh, I think that will be it, there is nothing else, because most of her face is covered with the armor. Since we are already working on the face, uh, we will paint the eyes now. Uh, so I will use a white first and uh, I will paint the eye sockets uh, totally with white. Uh, this model have uh, her face sculpted uh, really good, uh, so this part was actually very easy. It's uh, so well sculpted that you cannot actually make a mistake and paint something that's not the eye. And for the pupil, I will take uh, one of my smallest brushes and just take a little of the black paint on the top of my brush and uh, just make a little dot in the middle of the eye. Uh, as you can see, this was like a really quick and uh, two-step process and I managed to do it uh, first try. And uh, since I already have a black color on my wet palette, I will go around the model and I will fix uh, all the black parts uh, that I stained uh, with the other colors uh, while I was doing uh, other washes. Uh, so just go around and do little fixes uh, because uh, in the next step we will start highlighting the black parts. So we want them to be uh, perfectly black before we continue. In the next step, uh, I will proceed uh, to highlight uh, her white armor panels. Uh, for this, I will use uh, Ultuan Grey. 
and uh, I have to say uh, shake this uh, paint very well uh, before using it uh, because it tends to get uh, chalky and then uh, put it on your wet palette and add a few drops of water so it flows better from your brush and then go around the model and uh, start covering these armor panels uh, like maybe 80% of these uh, panels but don't go inside the recesses or in the shadow areas and if you uh, go to paint the areas that are under or inside the shadows uh, just go with the one a very thin coat over it uh, while on the rest of the parts of the model you will have to go in two or some parts three very thin coats uh, because uh, this paint is very transparent uh, so what we'll advise you is to wait uh, for this paint to completely dry and then uh, go with another coat over it uh, because uh, this is like an off-white color uh, which uh, when it gets dried it uh, toned down a little so when you first apply it it looks really bright but after the paint gets dried uh, it will become a little darker And uh, for the final highlight on the armor, uh, we will use uh, pure white and uh, we will highlight uh, with this uh, only the edges of the armor. So wherever it's possible, use the side of your brush and draw the thin lines. Uh, where it's not, use the tip of your brush and draw uh, very thin lines. I don't know how much is this visible on the camera uh, because we were painting with the off-white and white. Uh, so the tone between these two colors is very similar. Uh, in the real life, uh, you can clearly see the difference between these two colors, uh, but on the camera, maybe it won't be that possible. One of the last things that we need uh, to do on this model is to highlight the gun and the rest of the black armor panels. Uh, so I will start with the gun and uh, I will apply this as an edge highlight. So whenever it's possible, uh, I will put the paint on the side of my brush and I will make an angle between uh, like 45 to 90 degrees uh, uh, between the surface of the brush and the model. And I will just try to pull uh, very thin lines uh, to highlight the sharp edges. And I will do this on the, every single sharp edge on the gun and uh, on her holster as well, handgun, uh, her shoes and the rest of the armor panels. To finish off with the LEDs uh, and uh, she has some blue details on her gun, I used the light sea blue. So I painted the top part of her gun and the little canister uh, that she have, And as well, I painted all the LEDs uh, on her legs and on her mask as well. To apply the final highlights on these blue parts, I will use a sky blue and I will just do a little edge highlight on the gun and on the LEDs uh, I will put uh, just one little dot uh, in the middle. And 
and that will be end of this little project uh, the tactical rock that she's standing on you will just paint it to match uh, your base and the rest of the army i just uh, put her on some random base i just uh, painted like in a five minutes just to be able to take the photo uh, for this uh, video uh, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot and it will help this video spread around and more people will be able to see it. And guys, if you have any comments or suggestions or what would you like to see me painting next, uh, please uh, make a comment in the section down below and I will do my best to reply. Anyway, uh, this is all for now. Stay safe, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye bye!